Ladies and gentlemen, I walk to the store to buy cigarettes. I met a nice peace officer. His name was Marty. I don't know if he was a McFly. I sure hope so. And then I said, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And then I said, fuck. 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 And then I started to cry. I'm talking a hard cry. And so, let's take that as a bad sign. If we're talking in relation to overall state of affairs and, um, Hurricane Harvey, Harry, Dorian. And so, Texas, we got some headed our way. And it's coming from the volcano moisture steam. But I highly recommend that Texas and Mexico, Mexico become really good friends as fast as possible. As an official recommendation to all my fellow Texans and Mexicans, and technically anyone that's about South America, I think it's a great time for Texas and South America to be great friends. Um, Cause we got some crazy shit we're about to go through. And I think that one's headed to New York. It could be wrong though. These are crazy days. I spent all year warning us about this storm and the storms to come. And all and all of August, like I worked hundreds of hours to make like 40, 50 videos to tell us all about this storm. And well, I still got $200 left in my fundraiser. But I could die today. You could die today. I don't know who you are or where you're at. So, technically, and like the first, the second, or the third, I don't know if I'm dying today or tomorrow or the next day. I don't know if Thor News is making it, man. So, I go crazy. Hey, sure. I mean, this is your update. The main thing everybody needs to know about Dorian is it is still headed west. Midnight 19. September 2nd, 2019. And so... We might begin a landfalling Labor Day hurricane. You know, in Harry Potter, people who liked it when other people were hurt or happy or just little house elves, they were really happy yesterday. Okay, so every time I look at this thing, it has... Dorian. I keep wanting to say Harvey. And the whole thing is, I think this is going to go forward to right about here and then do a Harvey over south of Florida. And then it's going to roll up the coast or it's just going to go straight over. So there you go, man. Um, it's a really bad scene. The bad guys are fucking partying right now. And so, if you combine that, with the rest of the results that are probably coming this hurricane season, then she's super fucked up.
And I'd like a raise as planetary defense commander. I'll try and get cooler. But yeah, it looks like a total monster. Everybody's going to bed. And so now it is growing into its final form. Are there any good guys left on the planet? Are there any other men or women out there who stand up for God, Jesus Christ, family, friends, truth? Or are we just going into the Spanish Inquisition of modern technology? And if I do get killed today, I'd like to thank all the cool people out there, my family, my friends, everybody who was ever funny or made cool music or cool movies. I'd like to thank Texas. I love you, Texas. And Texans, I love you guys. And ladies, hell yeah. This is why I wasn't that impressed by Taylor Swift. She wasn't born in Texas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, it's a monster, dude. And so... Texas definitely prepare her for that storm. In New York, I would watch it as well. And markets will probably continue to go up. Losing 20%, 30% of Florida might be really great for the stock markets. So I will continue to let you guys know about everything. This is my channel and comments will be off. Because if Americans aren't going to support Americans and humans aren't going to support humans, maybe I should just worry about Texas. Because clearly I can't protect the planet or even America very well. In Texas, I don't need to be the commander because Texas is holding that shit down. Sure, we could get attacked and I'm not going to get in some trouble for me saying this, but Texas is fucking badass, dude. And we have honor here. I mean, yeah, I know there are bad people around, but overall I've said maybe Texas is the last bastion of hope and light. Because this is like the, what, eighth hurricane we'll get hit by in 2.9 years. Maybe nobody's interested in any type of defense. But I guess, I don't know, we got 12 to 20 hours before this thing hits the coast. Or maybe it's slowing down. And it's still headed west. All right, God bless everyone.